If you have watched my last video, which was a review of the MSI Mac Core Liquid 360R, you might have noticed that I awarded the cooler the Silver Award. I gladly award this cooler the Cybertech Talk Silver Award. But silver on which scale? Is it a bronze silver gold scale? Or is silver the lowest award? Or is silver the highest award? I'll answer those questions in this video. Initially, we did not award products. But it is necessary to group a particular group of products in such a way that it is easy for you, the viewer, to understand what are the products that you should pick while shopping. Let us talk about AIO liquid coolers for a bit. Some cooler might perform like a beast, but when it comes to the noise performance, it may just suck. But for some other cooler, the performance may be okay, but the noise levels can be extremely good. Now, both of these hypothetical coolers fall in the same category because for AIO liquid cooler, noise is undesirable. Thus, we can put both of these coolers in the same category, say A. To categorize products based on their overall performance, we started awards. Just to make it easy for the viewers to understand how good really we think a product is. So too long don't watch, although I'm saying it in the last, coolers are just a fancy way of classification and that's it. Talking about the awards, we have 6 awards in total. Starting from failed, which may potentially be renamed to white, we go up, we get bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and then titanium. And you may say that the naming convention has been taken from PSU efficiencies. And well, we really did borrow it from AT+. Now talking about the awards, failed or white is a product that has failed our expectations. We do not recommend the viewer to buy such a product. Bronze is the lowest award. A bronze product nails very few aspects while it fails significantly other aspects that are far more important. An example is the Intel Stock Cooler. A bronze product may only be recommended if you're on the ultra low end, like say an Athlon based bottom of the line gaming PC, or it may be not recommended at all. Either way, it will be product specific and I will make the verdict very clear at the end of the concerned review. Silver is a product that nails far more than it fails. A very good example is the Mac Core Liquid 360R cooler that I recently reviewed. The aim for mounting mechanism was flawed and even the design of the cooler did not suit AMD CPUs. But at the same time, the cooler did break conventions. It is not Assetek based and performance on Intel CPUs is quite acceptable. It clearly deserved a silver award. Another good example is the Corsair Qatar Pro mouse that we reviewed earlier this year. It had an awesome build quality and very good design language, but the lift off distance on that mouse suffers. Also the thumb grip buttons were loose. This makes a perfect contender for the silver award. Also the GTX 1650 Ventus XS OC GPU that I reviewed earlier this year perfectly deserves a silver award. It is the best GTX 1650 that you can get on a tight budget. Gold is a rather distinguished award. You can say it is user specific. A gold awarded product is perfect for a target audience. That means it meets all of our expectations but it is limited to a certain user case scenario. The Clutch GM11 mouse that we reviewed earlier this year is a perfect example. That is probably the best mouse that you can get under 2000 rupees. But clearly, we can't recommend this mouse to someone who has a higher budget. Anyone who has had beefier mice before will not enjoy this mouse. Similarly, the Crucial MX500 SSD that we reviewed earlier this year also deserves a gold award. It is probably one of the best SSDs that you can get under 10,000 rupees, but it does not even stand a chance in front of NVMe SSDs. And thus, the MX500 does not make an universal recommendation. Platinum is awarded to only the best hardware. Those are the best products out in the market today and it meets all of our expectations. There are little to no screw ups in these products and they make a perfect universal recommendation. And at the same time, they deliver top of the line performance. So the question is, why does titanium exist? Platinum sounds like it. Every high end product will get the platinum award and we can just call it a day. What is the need of titanium? Well, titanium is the best of the best award. That means a titanium product will have no competition at the time of the review being published. Those are the best things that you can get on the market. 
Okay, so that wraps it up. We will keep the entire classification according to the awards published on the website. So if you really want to buy something, do consult that list once. And if you would like to check out the Mag 360R's review, check it out here. Don't forget to hit the like button and get subscribed. I have some interesting content planned for this channel in the upcoming weeks.